Welcome back, this is Yamajack. Today we're gonna do uh, something. That is what, the uh, sixth video that I've got for this week? Only got another another eight more to go. Uh, so today I, uh, I do wanna do some more SWAT. So we're gonna do some SWAT. We're not gonna go for offices because I'm not ready for that. Let's do outpost. Nah, I don't wanna do outpost. Sanitarium is too creepy for me. Like, like genuinely, sanitarium messes with my brain. To, 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 to an incredible extent. So Steam Fortress, I don't even know if I've ever done this one, so we're gonna do it. No, I have. I can't remember it though. Oh no. No, I'm on display capture. Oh, how long have I been on display capture? No. Oh, it was capturing things that it really shouldn't be. There we go. Now you don't have to see that stuff at the bottom right. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know how many videos that's been, but... It's fixed now. Seeing all my, my notifications and stuff. Oh, it's awful. It's fixed now. No more crying. This is a cool map. Like, it's just... It's really... Where, where, where did you come from and how did you survive a shot to the face? Oh, they come out through like... Well, that, I guess. That would work. Yeah. This is a cool map. Like, I want to stop and take everything in, but... Can't because there's too many Zeds. Too many Zeds. Oh, can I like interact with this thing? This is just such a cool map. Is this a this, yeah? This is an official map. This is a cool map. I really like this. Huh. It's so cool. Alright, alright, bring it. Yeah. Now you can pop your head, because apparently they think that as soon as they block it, then they are protected for all of eternity, when in reality, it's only a very brief moment that they're protected for. Hey. So it's right below us. This is such a cool map. Why have I never played on this before? I, I, I said I have, but honestly, I don't think I have. Yeah, we're gonna go for the nail gun. I'm sorry. I just, I want to be able to enjoy the map. I'm not skipping the trader. I want to explore. Can I shoot the... Oh. It's moving! Can it hurt me? Maybe, maybe on, um, on, you know, not, not in the, okay, this is a little bit frustrating. Not in the trader wave, it might be able to hurt. Let's go find out. We might just die, but we're going to find out. Doesn't hurt me. Oh, this is so cool, though. This is so cool! Yo, I wanna like... What I want... What what this map makes me want... Is like a campaign mode... For KF2. You know? I know that there technically is kind of a Killing Floor campaign. But it's like... it's. 
Killing floor in, in um, I don't know, I forget what it's called. But it's VR only, isn't it? I don't want VR only. I want to. I want. I want this game to have like a whole campaign mode. Cause like, can you imagine how cool it would be if you're like, you know, playing an RPG. Maybe not RPG necessarily, because I wouldn't want this to be an RPG. But like. Can I get the explosion? Nope. That's okay. I don't want to die. So I really want to continue enjoying this map. Okay, I've been a little bit too trigger happy with the, uh, the nail gun, I think. A little bit too trigger happy with it. That's okay, though. I've been too distracted by how awesome this map is. Look, it's amazing. But, okay, so you, you're playing like a little a little Killing Floor 2 campaign, and this big old rocket here is being overtaken by Zeds, and you gotta like clear them out. And then like launch the rocket to go to, to go to space, and then you're on the KF-1 like moon base map. You know? Like there's potential here for a really solid campaign, like a really solid... RPG, you know? Oh no! I went way too overboard on the ammo. This map is just too good. It's too good. I love it. I'm gonna be playing on this map a lot. So, fair warning. This has quickly become my favorite map. And it's the only thing we're going to do from this point on. We're not going to play anything else. This is it. This is this is what we do. This this is my channel now. Okay, every day, two episodes of SWAT with the Nail Gun on Steam Fortress. Ah! I want to go underground. Not underground. This, I think this is... Is this underground? Would this be considered underground? Can I go way down there? Can I go way down? I want to go down there. I love this map so much. Like just, oh, I really, really want a campaign. I'll tell you, I'm not able to take that guy out with a pistol or with a knife. So we need, we need ammo. We need ammo real bad. Not only that, but there's the raider, rider. Whatever he's called, or dude, also sitting there ready to murder us. There's probably ammo up here. This I'd put ammo up here. If I was tripwire, ammo, it would go up here. Yep. Ammo here. Knew it. I knew that's where they'd put the ammo. Easy. Yeah, I love this map. This map is huge. And like... Ah! It's so good! I'm like overwhelmed with how much I love this map. It's all I can think about. I am completely distracted. <laughs> I'm sure it makes for excellent, excellent YouTube content. Yeah, you don't get to see it. A friend of mine just logged into Rivals of Ether. But you don't get to see that anymore because I switched it to Game Capture. I had it on uh, Monitor Capture because I was recording um, myself doing a colorblindness test for a friend of mine who said I was colorblind and I had to prove him wrong. Little did I know, I would just kind of be proving him right. I did so poorly on that test. I mean, the test is, I mean, it's an online test, so monitor 
accuracy definitely plays a big part in it, but... I just... Everywhere I go, I'm impressed with this map. And I'm pretty sure we've already been here. But it's still just... I'm, I'm, I'm in love. This is what I love. Is this map. I don't need I don't need anything else in my life. Siren, watch your ears. This map is perfection. I wanna like <laughs> to like follow all of these these steam pipes everywhere and see what they're all doing. See if they actually like look like they're important or if they're just purely decorative. Because that's the thing that a lot of like steampunky type things do is they just add gears that are spinning. Why are these gears spinning? What are these gears moving? Like, okay, sure, this is cool, but your goal here is to generate, you know, kinetic energy from steam. Why are you putting all of this extra weight on it and then not harnessing it from there, you know? Like, you're just making it harder for the steam to generate power because you put gears on it. You know? I mean, I don't know much about mechanics, electrical engineering, I don't know. But, like, it feels to me like that gear is useless and just kind of making things harder for the motor to actually operate. So a lot of places, a lot of steampunky things do that kind of stuff. But at the same time, nobody would care if they didn't see the moving parts on it, right? If it was just, like, plain and boring, nobody would care. Right? It's cool, though. I like it. So I like uh, I like finding out if, like, following the paths of all the things to see if they're actually gonna be useful or if they're just garbage, basically. And so far in this map, a lot of stuff does seem like it fits into the garbage category, but I don't know. A lot of people get really upset about that. And you're like, you're not actually steampunk. You're just steampunk themed. I'm like, well. Sure, but like, do you see this? It looks really cool. <laughs> this isn't where you want to be. As an expert on where you want to be, this is not it. I was hoping we could clear out the rest of that stuff before we had to take out the Scrake, but it's kind of not happening, so. See ya! Ragdoll it up! Give me that Crovel. Oh, we got, what, Horde of Flesh Pounds? Quarter Pounds, rather? I don't mind a, a good little Horde of Quarter pounds? Where are you coming from? I don't want to have to deal with the siren at the same time. Where are you guys at? Give me that ammo! Yeah, boy. Alright, here, here he comes. Alright, here they come, rather. Nothing behind us? Nah, we're good. We're good. Where's the final dude? It gets a little tiring to record so many episodes in one go though. Maybe I'll have to split it into two sessions a week. That might be a more manageable thing. So I have seven episodes after this one, I believe. Maybe, I don't know. I think I'll have seven. I think this is the seventh episode. This one should be on the uh, 
What? <gasps> I am so hyped. You what? You can just go inside it? You can just go inside the big steam spaceship. This is amazing. Oh my god. Let's pop that. See if we can't get a little bit of headshot action going on here. Okay, you are a little bit too strong for me. But not really. <laughs> I love money spam. You can go inside the spaceship! No, don't end! I wanna explore this thing. Look at it! No! We're playing this map again and we're going in the spaceship. I don't remember how I got in the spaceship. But damn it, we're going in the spaceship. God, I love that map. That's such a good map. <laughs> that was really good. I really like that map. Man, we're gonna be playing on that so much more. That's a really, really fun map. It's a little bit easy. Um, because it's so open and yet also so crowded at the same time. It is a very easy map. Um, so we're not going to be able to play on it too much because I also like to have a challenge when I play. But that map is so cool. That's going to do it for this episode. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, I should ask you guys to like the video too, huh? I should do that. All right, here's here's the new intro that we're gonna be trying. Okay, come up with it. Not yet. As as we go with it, okay. It's awkward. Um, okay. I think I think, I, I think I've got something. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, then make sure to give it a like, subscribe, comment if you have anything to say, and uh, that'll do her. Bye, bye. Just, just like the video. It helps a lot. Okay, bye.